as I was painting this assignment, I was thinking about teapots, of course, because <laughs> uh, that's what was in front of me. My grandma had this teapot. Well, I thought it was a teapot. In trying to find the exact replica for this video, I realized it was actually a Pyrex coffee percolator. Um, however, it was all glass and it would sit on top of the stove top and boil away. And I remember spending time watching this thing on the stove. From what my childish mind could understand at the time, right, glass broke if it got too hot. So yet here was this glass kettle boiling away on the stove with a glass handle. Like the glass handle always really stumped me. And I remember watching it for long periods of time, maybe in an effort to make sure that it didn't break or just in fascination. However, it was definitely an imprinted memory. And every time we went to grandma's house, this kettle was on the stove boiling away. And as an adult now, I've been thinking a lot about what that represented, right? It was more than just making coffee or tea to drink. As a child, it represented dessert time. There was always some kind of home baking and an assortment of German chocolates and candies that you could only get at grandma's house because she would have them imported. But it also represented time for coffee or tea, which was a communal thing, right? It was time to sit and talk. It was time to spend a moment face to face, talking about what was going on in each other's lives, to catch up, to discuss things. Dessert was only ever brought out after all the dishes were done and supper was cleaned up and it was time to sit and relax together after the busyness of a meal. Now us kids would all get sugared up and we would run off and we would play outside or we'd play in the basement and the adults would talk. And when you would run upstairs for, you know, that that extra hit of chocolate, you would listen in to what the adults were saying, right? Are mom and grandma talking about us again? What are they saying this time? And you would go back downstairs and you would report to the others like, oh, mom was talking about you. This is what she said. You know, my kids kind of do the same thing now. Life is just full of these circle moments that just are really quite something to experience. But anyways, you know, my grandmother's teapot was not just a functional vessel for tea but was also a symbol of the important conversations that happened around it, right? These conversations were opportunities for shared wisdom and stories as well to connect on a deeper level. You know, in the Motherhood series, one of the questions I ask moms is who taught you about motherhood? And the answer is usually their mothers or their grandmothers or their aunties, like those who came before them, but not necessarily through like specific teachable moments, but lifetimes of observation, right? These small conversations that happen over years through teapot conversations, through sitting down face to face to connect, to check in, to see how things are going. As us kids grew up, we would slowly start to be led into these conversations that happened upstairs, right? It was more interesting to sit and listen to the adults at some point than it was to play a restaurant in the basement. These conversations were not just important for our personal growth, but also for building and maintaining relationships, right? It was always a way to discover who our elders were. Um, I remember having moments of realization that my elders were people too, who I didn't quite know very well, right? They had opinions about things that shocked me or that I wouldn't have expected or finding out that they had fantastic senses of humor that I resonated with or, you know, just things like that. But our grandmothers and elders knew that taking time to sit down and share a cup of tea or coffee with someone was a way to show love and care, to listen to their concerns and to connect on a deeper level. You know, these physical teapots were more than just teapots. They were often symbols of resilience and endurance. Many of these teapots survived wars or migrations or other upheavals and served as reminders of our family stories or histories and legacies. Now, I want to acknowledge the fact that some of us may have lost our grandmothers or mothers or elders and may feel a sense of sadness or nostalgia when we talk about the tradition of connecting over a cup of tea or a cup, a cup of coffee. But while we can't bring them back, we can honor their legacy by continuing these traditions, right? By sharing their stories and their wisdom with others. And by doing so, we can keep their memory alive and pass on their legacy to future generations. Whether we display their teapots on our shelves or we brew tea in them, or we simply treasure them as cherished family heirlooms, our grandmother's teapots serve as the symbol of <coughs> comfort and love and tradition. 
you know, this tradition of connecting over a cup of tea is not unique to one culture. It's found in many cultures around the world. In fact, in some cultures, tea ceremonies are considered sacred rituals, right? That symbolize harmony, respect, and gratitude. Tea is often associated with the principle of harmony and balance. In various tea cultures, the act of preparing and sharing tea is seen as an opportunity to restore balance and find harmony in both physical and spiritual aspects of life. The careful selection of tea leaves, the precise measurement of the water, and the graceful movements in tea ceremonies reflect that pursuit of balance and quest for harmony. Tea has often been used as a symbol of hospitality and connection in many cultures. The act of serving tea to guests is considered a gesture of welcome, respect, and friendship. And tea ceremonies often provide a space for people to come together, right? In meaningful conversation to deepen those relationships. And the shared experience of drinking tea fosters a sense of connection and community and shared values. Tea has also been used as a tool for mindfulness and meditation practices in various traditions. The process of preparing and drinking tea can be approached with mindfulness, right? The focusing of one's attention on each step, the aroma, the taste, and the sensation that it brings. And this practice often helps to cultivate a sense of presence, calmness, and awareness of the present moment. Tea ceremonies often create an atmosphere conductive to reflection and contemplation, just by slowing down and engaging in a deliberate and mindful tea drinking experience, individuals can create a state of introspection and deep contemplation. Tea becomes this catalyst for self-reflection and offering a moment of respite from the demands of everyday life. Now, unfortunately, in our busy modern era, I feel like many of us have lost that tradition of connecting over a cup of hot tea. We're so busy with our work, with social media and other distractions that we often forget to take time to connect with others and ourselves on that deeper level. We may connect with friends online, but how many of them do we truly connect with face to face? How many of them do we take time to have heart to heart conversations with over a hot beverage? This thought exercise while painting this teapot has me thinking a lot about how I can bring some of that tradition back into my own life, right? How can I create opportunities for connection and intimacy and personal growth through more face-to-face, -face, relaxed, conversational rituals, or spending time in relaxed, contemplative, or reflective state over a cup of tea. Let me know in the comments below, do you have a tradition, a tradition in your culture or family around tea that you would be willing to share? I would love to hear it in the comments below. I love being able to make these types of videos, so I hope in some small way that this video has inspired you to continue this tradition and to honor the legacy of those who have passed before us. Thanks for watching my friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy this video. It really does help my channel to grow. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.